Okay, so here I'm going to prove the quotient rule for derivatives, which says that the derivative of a quotient of two functions, right, f of x over g of x, or f over g prime of x, is equal to the derivative of the top function, f of x, times the bottom function, g, minus the just the regular top function, f, times the derivative of the bottom function, g, and this is all over the bottom function, g squared. Okay, so how I'm going to prove this is by using the product rule and the reciprocal rule. And so we're going to rewrite f of x over g of x as a product of two things. So we can take advantage of a rule that hopefully came before this rule, which is the product rule. And so we're going to rewrite it as f of x times 1 over g of x. And so again, we're still taking the derivative of this product of two functions. And the way we do that, right, by the product rule is... It's equal to the derivative of the first function times the second function. So this, this whole thing is the second function. This is the first function. Plus the first function, f, times the derivative of the second function, 1 over g of x. And so now on the left here, we just have multiplication, right? f prime of x times 1 over g of x is equal to f prime of x over g of x. On the right, what is the derivative of 1 over g of x? Well, we can use the reciprocal rule which says that this is equal to negative times the derivative of g divided by g of x squared. And so now this multiplication on the right, what is that? Well, we have f of x times g prime of x in our numerator. And don't forget that negative sign that comes out. I'm going to bring that out in the front here. So we're subtracting these two terms. And in the denominator, we still have g of x squared. And now we have two fractions. And well, we want to combine them together, right? Because our final answer for the quotient rule is given as one big fraction. And this is looking pretty good because we have g of x squared in the denominator of this one. And when we combine these two fractions, right, we want to find a common denominator, which is g of x squared. And so we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator of this first fraction by g of x. So in other words, again, I put g of x in the numerator here, multiplied it, and now I have g of x squared in the denominator. And so remember, when we have two fractions with the same denominator, we can just subtract their numerators together. And so you're going to see we have derivative of f times g minus f times derivative of g divided by g of x squared. And that is indeed our quotient rule for derivatives. And so that's our proof. So you can see how we did this, right? We broke up or rewrote fx over g of x as a product of two things. And then we use the product rule for derivatives to evaluate that derivative. And we use the quotient rule, I'm uh, sorry, the reciprocal rule for derivatives to evaluate the derivative of 1 over g of x. And then we did a little bit of multiplying, common denominator, subtracting fractions, and we ended up with our final answer.